A total solar eclipse occurs usually around twice a year somewhere in the world. It is a consequence of the fact that the moon is orbiting around our planet, the Earth. So, usually twice a year, the moon will come directly in between the sun and the Earth, blocking out some or all of its light. And on the 8th of April, what uh, a few very lucky people are gonna be able to see across parts of the world is a total solar eclipse. So unfortunately, uh, not everyone in the world can see a total solar eclipse when it happens. You need to be in very specific places. In fact, if you want to see a total solar eclipse, you need to be within a very specific region known as the path of totality. Essentially, that is the place where the moon's shadow is passing over the surface of the Earth. So the people within that path of totality will be people in parts of Mexico, the USA, and southeastern Canada as well. Other people outside of those regions may well see a partial solar eclipse. Essentially what they'll see over the course of two hours or so is the moon very slowly moving across the face of the sun, sort of looking like it's almost eating the sun out of the sky. And when it reaches that point of totality, it will be darker, it will be colder as well, because the moon is not only blocking the sun's light, it's blocking its warmth as well. Looking at the sun with the naked eye is incredibly dangerous. The sun's UV radiation is capable of destroying the soft tissue in the back of your eyeballs. It's not very nice. It can cause severe and sometimes permanent damage to your vision. So if you are viewing the solar eclipse directly, you're going to need solar eclipse glasses or a solar viewer to directly view it. And if you don't have that, you shouldn't be looking at the sun. <laughs> 